Hi, today I will be demonstrating an outbound scenario sending SAP Master Data to a Kafka broker using Advanco's Kafka adapter. First, we need to define our topic in Confluent, our Kafka broker, because this is where our data will be published. For this scenario, I've defined the topic Debmos 07 Avro. After going into our topic, we can then see our schema. Here is where our value schema is defined, and then we can also see the format as being Avro. Next, after our setup in Confluent, we then can move into CPI to define our integration flow. Here, we identify our sender as SAP. And as we go in, we can see our connection parameters below. Here, under our connection details, we identify our address, as you can see here, as well as the user role. After this is done, we then can go into our message mapping. Here is where we'll define the mapping for this scenario. As you can see, the mapping is pretty straightforward. And here is where we establish and make sure the mapping is mapped to the correct structure. Finally, after that is done, we then can establish our receiver, in this case, Confluent, our Kafka broker. And then we can go in and define our connection parameters for that. Here is where we'll define our host and port for this scenario as well as the authentication mechanism. For this case, the credential name would be Confluent. This is where we, this is defined in our security material in our CPI tenant. Finally, we also have the alias of our client as well as the server certificate. As we move further down, we also have to establish our processing, processing parameters. As you can see, the topic name that we had in Confluent is also right here under the topic name here. Finally, we also have our client name and our schema registry configuration where our schema is located so that we know we're mapping it to the correct structure and where it's located under Confluent and the value schema right here. Then, after establishing our connection to Kafka, we then go into our content conversion settings under Advanced. Here is where we define our source format as XML and our target format as JSON. This step is crucial because in order for our message to be in the correct structure and integrate properly, we need to make sure that the target format is JSON and our source format is XML. Finally, to check to see if our integration flow is working properly, we need to send a message through. I'll go ahead and do that now. After our message has been sent through, we then want to open up our message monitoring for this iFlow and refresh. As you can see, this is the most recent message to come through. And if we click on it, we can also see the message log, as you can see right here. Further, if we go into our Kafka broker Confluent, we can also see that we have had sent the lead last message right here, the offset four. As you can see, the iFlow has worked and it is quick and easy to integrate at Kafka with the Advanco adapter. Thank you so much for watching.